California's climate leadership is deriving results for working class residents here in Los Angeles and across the state. Whether it's solar panel installations on low income homes in East Los Angeles, South LA, or Southeast Fresno, or new electrical vehicles, electrical vehicles for working families in places like Modesto, Stockton, as well as here in our own backyard, the great city of Los Angeles. Thanks to the policies that we have put in place at the state level, Californians are breathing cleaner air and saving thousands of dollars on their utility bills each year. I am proud that Los Angeles is leading the way with a sustainable city plan, which Matt Peterson, who is the sustainable chief officer uh, for the city of Los Angeles with Eric, uh, uh, Mayor Eric Garcetti, is leading that charge. This is a roadmap that sets a much more prosperous and equitable future for our city. But the bottom line is this. We have much, much more to do. The pilot project that we're launching today is one step toward a much more healthier and more livable community. We need more transportation options that help us get to where we need to be without relying on dirty and expensive fossil fuels that warm our planet and make it much more difficult for our children to breathe. Federal surveys of American households have found that half, half of all trips are three miles or less, and nearly one third of them are one mile or less. That means right here in the city of LA, half of the trips, when you get into your car, you're either going to the supermarket, visit a friend, doing your errands, they're less than three miles and one third of them are actually less than a mile. It's a lot of, lot of uh, 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 carbon that's being emitted into our atmosphere and a lot of pollution that our children breathe into their lungs. Today in Los Angeles, only 26%, only 26% of trips are made by walking, biking, or transit. And only 1%, 1 of those trips use shared transportation like sharing. But we're going to change that here today in the city of Los Angeles. This pilot project offers a glimpse of the future and represents the type of shift in policy, infrastructure, behavior, and culture that we need. By increasing access to car sharing and public transportation and making our communities much more walkable and bike friendly, we can make it much easier to get around while also saving money saving money for the gas that so you don't have to pay, and having much cleaner air in the city of Los Angeles. This electrical vehicle sh car sharing program will offer clean, affordable transportation choices for families without contributing to the air quality challenges or to climate change. Now I want to thank everyone from the city of Los Angeles, the great leadership of Mayor Eric Garcetti. They are the awardees of this grant uh, from CARB, that has come through policy at the state level in Sacramento. I want to thank Mary Nichols. And also here we have one of the board members of CARB uh, himself. We have Hector de la Torre here too, who is one of the CARB board members, one of the handful of Latinos that we have, former assembly member representing. <laughs> Am I correct? Is it one of you? Yeah. Are you the one or the two? Two. 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 Which we need more. Yeah. <laughs> Message memo to the governor need to diversify uh, CARB much more so to reflect all communities in California. But the world is watching California. The Chinese, the Mexicans, the Canadians, the European Union, the Indians. No one's watching what is happening in Washington DC today because of dysfunction, because of stalemate that is happening. Everyone's watching what is next in the state of California. How can we actually reduce our carbon and delink GDP from carbon and demonstrate that we are today the eighth largest economy in the world? I want to put this in context. The United States of America as a whole, in the aggregate, is the number one largest GDP. Number two is the Republic of China. Number three is Japan. Four is Germany. Five is France. Seven is the UK. Uh, I'm sorry, six is the UK. Seven is Brazil, and at number eight is the great state of California. That has shown 
that we have reduced our carbon emissions considerably, while at the same time we have grown this economy and we have delinked GDP from carbon. These are the type of policies that we need that democratize our climate change policies that allow all individuals, irrespective of who they are, irrespective of where they live, irrespective of the color of their skin, the language that they speak, or which neighborhood they live in, and which zip code. All individuals deserve access to electrical vehicles. And with this car sharing program with the city of Los Angeles, we're gonna allow working families, working families in and around the poorest neighborhoods in East LA and South LA and elsewhere, participate in these types of programs. So they can go from point A to point B, do their errands and not emit carbon into the atmosphere. One last, about one more minute. Algunas palabras muy breves en español. Estamos haciendo un ejemplo mundial a seguir haciendo inversiones que fortalezcan nuestra economía y a la vez limpiar nuestro medio ambiente y mejorar nuestra calidad, nuestra calidad para de vida para las comunidades desproporcionalmente más afectadas, las comunidades más marginadas, los de abajo, aquellos que son inmigrantes, familias trabajadoras, aquí en la ciudad de Los Ángeles. Luchando contra la contaminación y el cambio climático para que nosos, nuestros hijos puedan respirar aire puro. Requiere más opciones de transporte que no dependen de los combustibles de fósiles contaminantes. Al incrementar el acceso al eh, compartir vehículos, coches eléctricos y al tránsito público y creando medios ambientes donde nuestra comunidad puede caminar más y usar sus bicicletas, Nosotros, como electos oficiales, podemos fa fa facilitar la movilidad y así ahorrar dinero y limpiar nuestro aire. Esto es algo histórico para las comunidades de este bajos ingresos, de las zonas más humildes aquí en la ciudad de Los Ángeles, donde nuestras políticas públicas que estamos promoviendo en el Capitolio, en Sacramento, estamos democratizando el proceso del cambio climático para aquellos marginados, aquellos los demás de abajo, de las zonas más humildes pueden contribuir con sus contribuciones reduciendo el alto índice alarmante y peligroso de carbono aquí en el estado de California. A mí me da mucho gusto estar aquí con Matt Peterson y también con Mary Nichols. Vamos a echar este programa este andar muy fuerte para todas las, este, eh, las colonias, las zonas más humildes, para las gentes trabajadoras, para aquellas personas que tienen que hacer sus mandados un milla, dos millas, tres millas de, su, de sus casas, de sus apartamentos, reduci reduciendo el costo es, de combustible y también limpiando nuestro aire para que nuestros hijos respiran aire puro y limpio en sus pulmones. Así, muchas gracias. And we'll open up to any questions that uh, Media Press has. I don't know if you guys did it already. You did it already. All right, fantastic. We did it already. We're going to look forward to a, a, an incredible last month legislative session when the governor comes back from the Vatican uh, as we move forward far-reaching progressive uh, climate change policies. With that, thank you very much. Gracias a todos.